I am used to drive through Bangkok, which is a super busy city, but actually these quiet cities are much more dangerous. Nobody checks anything. In Bangkok, never anybody will just cross the street, right? Here we are in the city center of Siem Reap. And besides the temples, there is a very nice, authentic city here. And a lot of the buildings here are a bit uh, colonial, French colonial style. And of course, as a global travel mate, I have to go on my bicycle. Whoa. A lot of bicycles here and you can rent them everywhere. We rent uh, a bicycle for three days for $12. Here you have the pub street. Tuk tuks are waiting around here. It's early in the day, so there are not many people yet. Most people are uh, visiting the temple, so we'll come back here a little bit later. The red piano. One of the famous old places here that has been here for ages. Yeah, and here you see very clearly the old colonial buildings that you have here and tonight we're gonna eat in this area and we're gonna actually meet with a friend of ours her name is Alexis and uh, she's been living here for like 15 years and we're just gonna have a little chat with her later Yeah, this is very similar style what you find in places such as Luang Prabang. And uh, this should be a UNESCO heritage site as well, I think. Yeah, this is the funny thing. I am used to drive through Bangkok, which is a super busy city, but actually these quiet cities are much more dangerous because everybody, well, nobody checks anything. In Bangkok, never anybody will just cross the street, right? So this is the market and then there is a park in here. Here you have the parking for the market. So let's go and have a look. So this is the river and there are a couple of nice bridges where you can cross. Yeah, so let's go and have a look at the market before we go to meet with Alexis. So if you're looking for souvenirs, you can come here to the old market. And uh, this is a bit like the Chateau Chak of Siem Reap. You want an Angkor dagger?
Yeah, this is a bit similar to what you can find in MBK in Bangkok. So let's have a look here at the Alley West and this is a short street that runs parallel on the pub street and here you'll find a few nice bars and restaurants and even during the whole pandemic this street still stayed open and the reason that we're here is because uh, we're gonna go and say hi to Alexis and Alexis is part owner of the Picasso bar here and she runs the Blush clothing store. So let's go and say hi to Alexis. Oh. Hey Alexis, how are you? Long time. We already saw each other this afternoon. So how long have you been in Siem Reap? Uh, around 15 years. 15 years already? Yeah. Okay, right. so, and I think that we know each other already for like 10 years. Yeah. So we had a common friend here, a German lady called Annette, and mm -hmm. she was one of the original Global Travel Mates. So what is this shop? Can you tell us a little bit about it? So I design the clothing and then we make it locally. So we produce like slow fashion, um, cotton casual women's clothing. Okay. And we make it in different villages. So rural women sew it and then send it back to us. It's all like kind of free-sized. It's the souvenir that you would wear when you go home. It's not like ugly tourist clothing. It's something that you wear here in the heat, but then when you go home, it's like trendy as well, you know? Okay, and it's and, and it's definitely made in here. It's not from China. It's not from no, another country. It's all made here. Okay, and, and all the, the people that make it are around Siem Reap, or is like all local? No, so we have one in Phnom Penh, Batambong, um, Kulin Mountain, then like around this area, Banti Minche. So they're not just in Siem Reap. Okay, yeah. that's really cool. Because we pick them on their skill, and then it's good also to have remote, so they can make income, you know, in Banti Minche, which is quite rural. Yes. Okay, so this is, remember it, Blush Handmade, and this is in the Alley West, right? In Alley West, yeah. Okay, so I had one more question, because I remember last time when we came here, we went to Miss Wong, but you told me that it's re relocated to another location. And the reason why I'm asking you is because you are the local expert, <laughs> in my opinion. You know, so where is it now? So now it's moved across the river and it's on Street 26. Okay. Yeah, a new location over there. Okay, and yeah. in 26 you have more restaurants or? You have, uh, it's a new kind of little vibey area with restaurants, bars, coffee shop. Yeah, okay. there's quite a few good little places on the street. And it's okay. Just, just Okay, we're gonna go and have a look there. Thank you. and bustle of Pop Street, you can come here in Street 26. 
and around this area there are a couple of nice bars and one of them here is Miss Wong which used to be in the area of Pop Street so let's go and have a look inside so this is the perfect location if you want to get a cocktail and if you ever visited Siem Reap you might know this place from uh, the Pop Street area, hello! And it has the same style, but just a different location. So I was only able to show you a little bit of Siem Reap, but if you're interested in more about Siem Reap and actually the whole of Cambodia, you can check out For Real. Unfortunately, we were not able to meet them, but I did ask them to share a few kind words with us. Hello, my name is Jeremy. My name is Claire. And we are For, For Real. Real. We make content about Cambodia, everything Cambodia. Yes, we also do a weekly news moto vlog. So if you're interested in knowing about what's going on in the kingdom, you can watch that weekly update. Unfortunately, we're not in Siem Reap at the moment. We would love to have been there to catch up with Jerome to show him some of the best things that we love about Siem Reap, but we'll definitely catch up with him at some point in the future. I hope you enjoyed this update regarding For Real. If you did, feel free to subscribe, drop us a line, and we'll see you in our next uh, video. video.